Hey, welcome back to the Genesis Principle Fine Art. I'm Alton Jones and I'm continuing on the yellow face painting. So thank you for joining me again as we embark on this little journey through this portion of the Canadian landscape. My intro will run for a minute and a half or so and then we'll get back on the canvas. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so today should be a pretty easy day. All I am doing today is I'm covering this yellow mass with not completely covering it, but I am uh, breaking this yellow mass up into fragments of yellow with, with a bit of uh, darker green tones, which creates a background for the, f the flowers that will be going over top, the mustard flowers, and also it provides the appearance of a bit of volume in the area so it actually appears as if you're looking at a field of flowers so that's basically what i'll be doing today is adding a bit of darker tones to this yellow mass and also adding uh, some even darker tone to the mid or foreground area of the actual field so that once the flowers are painted in it does give you a strong sense of of depth uh, differentiating the distant background from the foreground so basically i'm adding my colors to that today some paints some darker tones and then i'll be leaving that for a day or so just for it to dry up a little bit so i can paint the flowers over top as i said i work in layers so this is a part of layering laying down one layer allowing that to dry or if it's not dried at least be tacky enough so that i can work on top of that and i won't disturb the flower the uh, paints that are under underneath so that's the plan for today after that we'll tackle the that little glimpse of the street and the sidewalk and the grass the grass reeds in the extreme foreground and then this one will be done so hopefully we'll finish this up maybe in two or three sessions hopefully as i said i'm a slow painter so if you have some time and you can follow me on this journey thank you so much for doing that and welcome Notice off in the distance here, this uh, this portion of yellow against the uh, the background, against the shadow of the the bushels. I haven't put any green paint at all. I haven't darkened that area. I want that to remain the way it is. I want the uh, the dark area in the back to provide a strong background when I put even lighter highlights of yellow flowers against that dark. So that's the reason for not touching that with paint. I want that to remain 
remain bright and clear as the other other flowers are placed in are painted in Okay, just to make note, um, I'm still continuing on just kind of fragmenting the yellow in the uh, in the midground there in the in the field, so that once I start painting the the, the, the yellow flowers in, there is some background color that would ref that would force the flowers forward in appearance, so that they would look as if they're actually sitting in a field of flowers and not just sitting a bed of yellow as as it looks as it appears now so I'm fragmenting the yellow to change that so I guess the obvious question would be well why not do that in the initial stages instead of just painting a full field of yellow well the reason for the yellow for for the yellow in my approach to painting it provides a sense of volume so even if some flowers are missing from a particular area it still seems as if it's saturated with yellow flowers so it gives a sense of thickness a, a sense of volume to the area and 
the reason mainly for fragmenting and adding the background colors to that is to increase the the vibrancy of the yellow flowers which will be painted over top in the foreground I'll be painting those individually and in the midground somewhat individually and in the background they'll be a lot more tighter it would seem more just like one mass the further away things are from you the more the less um, distinction you have between things and that's where you get that sense of perspective that sense of distance in your painting so I'm continuing to fragment the yellow in the foreground saturating the color also for the purpose of um, or darkening the color and saturating the color so that the foreground leaps forward and the background and the midground is pushed back hope that makes some sense there um, my approach to painting might be slightly different from what you're used to if you're used to watching others paint but every person have their own style and so this is my approach to that